Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my first video, I had taken you all through my soft landing experience in Canada and there were quick visuals of our flight journey as well. Today, I'll be giving you a detailed comparison between Lufthansa Airways and Air Canada. This is solely based my experience and this will give you some perspective and idea about both the flights and also what to expect. My husband and I traveled to Canada in May after receiving our PR. We opted for Lufthansa Airways to travel to Vancouver. While coming back to India, we opted for a direct Air Canada flight. First, let's talk about what was the travel duration for both these flights. For Lufthansa Airways, we needed a total of 28 hours to reach Vancouver. The breakup was somewhat like this. We needed 8 hours to reach from Mumbai to Munich. In Munich, we had 10 hour layover post which we needed another 10 hours to reach Vancouver. I know the travel duration seems a lot given the 10 hour layover at Munich, but I can assure you we had an amazing time at Munich. You can watch my first video to know how you can have a great time at Munich airport. I'll link it in the description below. Another great point to add was we directly got our luggage in Vancouver. So there was no luggage transfer hassle that we had to do at Munich. For Air Canada, it was simply a 16 hour direct flight from Toronto to New Delhi. Now coming to luggage allowance, both these flights allow 23 kgs check-in luggage and uh, up to 8 kgs hand luggage. Up next is comfort. This is one of the most important aspects of traveling. Even if you're traveling in economy, it's really necessary to be comfortable throughout the flight. For Lufthansa, I felt the aircrafts are designed well because all the seats were really comfortable even in economy. Not once during the entire flight I felt I was uncomfortable at any point. Although I cannot say the same thing about Air Canada flights. Uh, when I entered the flight, I thought the seats would be similar to Lufthansa's, but the seats were really narrow and it was very compact. It was a little disappointing because it was a direct flight, a 16 hour flight to India. Coming to in-flight food services, with Lufthansa, we had a free snack, three course meal, free soft drinks, free juices, and all of that served in one flight. Uh, the, they serve food a lot. I mean, to the point you'll always be full. I don't think you can go hungry in a Lufthansa flight. The food quality and the taste for me was 7 on 10, which is great for economy flights. On the contrary, I absolutely did not like the food that was served to us in Air Canada. We were first given a tortilla wrap, which was not good, which did not have a good taste, and I couldn't finish the wrap. For dinner, unfortunately, we were not served any, and I'll let you know why in my next point. Coming to the last point, which is the overall service. With Lufthansa, we had a great experience, really sweet cabin crew, very professional, very prompt. It absolutely elevated our 28-hour journey, which was really needed, and the journey was really seamless. With Air Canada, I did not have a good experience. Sadly, we had a situation where a passenger needed immediate medical assistance. Luckily, we had two doctors on board who helped the patient and there were also two cabin crew who were assisting them. While the patient was taken care of by the two doctors and two cabin crew, there was absolute ignorance to other people's requests in the flight. Only few of the passengers were served food and they decided to not serve food to the rest. My constant request for water was absolutely ignored. I think I had requested for water thrice, but even then none of the cabin crew helped us with it. So overall in the entire flight, I was absolutely starving. I was really thirsty and I la landed in Delhi really dehydrated. I feel that Air Canada cabin crew was not able to handle the crisis situation on board and they completely neglected other passengers. I mean, for a 16 hour flight, you cannot be not having dinner or water. Now, having said all of this, this is solely based on my experience and these are my views and reviews about the flight. I am sure a lot of people must have had great experience with Air Canada, but unfortunately it wasn't the case for me. Let me know in the comment section below, which is the flight that you prefer when you're traveling long distances. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.